Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another reaction packed episode of Chris the Butcher Friends. Hopefully this is going to be reaction packed anyway. I'm hoping it is anyway, it might not be, it might be boring as sin. You know what I mean? But we have got some chicken wings which I picked up from the FASDA, just essentials. Uh, we've got a shed load of mint, we've got some flour, we've got some salt, we've got some pepper, we've got some oil, we've got a pan, we've got a hob. So let's do some minted fried chicken wings. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prep the chicken wings. Now, you can buy your chicken wings from wherever, wherever you want. I was in Asda and it was a kilo of chicken wings for £2.19. So, do you know what I mean? It's cheap, isn't it? It's a cheap meal. So, uh, let's get them all blocked. Don't worry, hygiene, please. I, w I will be scrubbing everything I touch, every surface it goes on, everything, before I go any further after this. Uh, normally, you get the wings, you, you take the wing tips off, but these are actually D tips, which is even cause you, so you're not even paying for the wing tip. But we want to split them, so you got the drumstick, what do you call it, uh, flat and drumette, and you got you got you, right there. There's a joint. You get your knife, you go straight through. There you go, flat, drumette. Feel it with your finger. You feel the joint, it's a bit slippery, this. <laughs> there you go, right through joint. Easy as that, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Even an absolute novice in the kitchen can split a chicken wing like that. So yeah, I've got all them to do, and uh, I'll be back. As you can see there, I have got my chicken wings in. Just, it's just a basic egg wash. It's four eggs, nothing else beaten. And the chicken wings in there. Now you might think, oh, there's more chicken wings than that. I've only used half of this. Because the other half, I want to do something else with it further down the road. Possibly buffalo chicken wings. Because I've got some uh, Frank's red hot sauce in the cupboard. So I've been mint doing that for about four years. I still haven't done it. But uh, we're here for the minted chicken wings, aren't we? Now, because I'm going to put mint in the flour, I was toying with the idea of whether I should use salt and pepper. But... It, if something tells me, I, because it is, I, I need to. But I don't want to put too much in, just in case, you know, it overpowers what the mint is supposed to be doing. Which is there, by the way. Look at that. Still, £37,000 of it left. One. Two. I think we're going to put three heat teaspoons. What I am going to do is I'm just going to mix it. See what the mix looks like because I do want I do want the, the mix and I, I do want the flour to look a bit minty good. That's if I can keep it in the tub, that is. In fact, I'm gonna add another one in there. Don't forget, I have got loads of it. Oh, I'm trying to get over top. There we go. Just mix this now because the my plan is to just get the wings out of there into this Tupperware tub. Tupper, this Tupperware, Tupperware tub. If I could speak, oh bollocks, I've dropped in. Haven't I? And uh, shake, give him a right good shake up. Just save on mess, which I've already created. <laughs> now there's four tablespoons of garden mint in there. Uh, I don't really want to put any more in. Hang on, just come off camera a sec. It smells very minty. So uh, that will do for me. Right, I'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes when uh, never sorts a little bit longer. It's not that it'll make any difference. Need like buttermilk and stuff like that. You want to do it for like 24 hours. Or, or like a cure. With juniper berries and all sorts of stupid shit. Right, anyway, there we go. That is my minted fry mix. And we'll be back. That, we're going in that. 
Minus all the egg, obviously. Right, we're still waiting for our uh, oil to heat up. I want it to get relatively hot. I don't want it to scald. About 180 degrees, but I'm going to have to eyeball it because I can't find my thermometer. Now, I've drained as much egg out of there as I can. I'm just going to plop these in here like this, like so. Don't forget, I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to give them an absolute run dangling. It's about half a kilo wings in there. It should be more than enough. Obviously, it's not. It's it's filling the tub, isn't it? I'm definitely going to have to give that a run dangling. I'm clean my hands. I'm clean my kitchen. Chop my arms off and everything. Right. I hate these. I can never work them. Worm, how, how do you work these tubs? Oh, come on, Chris. Can't be that freaking hard. Ah, done it. That's basically it, really, isn't it? Get them evenly coated. There's going to be loads of loads of coating left anywhere. But this gives them, gets them evenly coated. And you're not going to load of shit everywhere. Hey, hey, hey. Right, that'll do for me. Lid off. We'll get them on a plate and I'll be ready for the oil. Right, obviously I ain't got a temperature gauge, I told you that, but that oil is hot. I just tried it with a little bit of bread and uh, that fried bread were brilliant. But them are our wings. Uh, I'm only going to do half at a time because I don't want to overcrowd the pan and they end up bobbling over and basically causing a fire. So I've got metal tongs, I'm not using my plastic ones, but it's going to be awkward getting these in. One, come on, get in your there, you bastard. You bastard. Two, <coughs> three, that mince just hit me in the face. <coughs> Pull it. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do six in the next batch, and uh, that's when you'll see it. But I think then we're going to take probably about eight to ten minutes. Uh, obviously, it being chicken, I want to make sure it's done. You can't really see anything there right now, but you will do. Very, very shortly. In fact, you'll see it right now. Now, that is the second batch. And they're done. I've turned, I've turned the off off, so the heat's going down now. That was my first batch. <laughs> Look at the fucking state of it. The oil was obviously too hot. Uh, but I've just tried one, and they are cooked. But obviously, because if the oil were too hot, uh, the coating burnt before the chicken were cooked. So, uh so I can get one out there. That is the second batch. Perfect. Right, I'll get these out of here and then uh, we'll be back with the presentation. Now, this is a sort of B-roll I'd do with like some really, really fucking deep, meaningful music. <laughs> but not. I'm just going to show you in real time. Look, them are cooked to perfection on top. Them underneath, however... A little bit charcoal -y. but I've tasted one, and I'll let you know what it tastes like very shortly, but I want to try one of these bang tidy ones. This second batch there actually got the, the oil in the pan, got down to a nice, decent temperature, uh, not too hot, not too cold, and it just cooked them beautifully. Them ones there, as you can see, that them ones. Black as ace of spades. Right. Let's get up here and slide one down my gizzard. There it is, brothers and sisters. My minted fried chicken wings. Get down my gizzard. Bon appetit. No. The burnt one was really, really good. Really tasty. And you got a little bit of mint come through. But them ones that are cut perfectly, you've got a really good taste of mint coming through because obviously I haven't burnt the mint. Then, if you like, obviously you like mint, you don't like mint, I don't suggest trying it because you'll just waste some chicken wings. But that to me is absolutely banging. Mmm. And cooked to perfection. Mm. I'm 
because uh, I'm really enjoying this minted series so far. Gives me an excuse to eat shit like this. Well, I hope you're enjoying this minted series as much as I am. Obviously, I've got to take it easy because there's so much, so much sugar in that sort of glaze. Uh, if you've got like, like we got diabetes, you, you're not wanting to be having it every day. Now it's been nearly two weeks since I had it, so I've been good in the meantime. Not been drinking either, so uh, that's always a good sign. Uh, especially got bad, you know, don't want really to kill myself yet. Not fifty. I want to say fifty at least. Uh, but yeah, like I've touched on before, yeah, you can buy that MRC Garden Mint Glaze on Amazon. Uh, you don't have to buy a full tub like that. You look for it, it's called uh, Flavor It, Flavor It Glaze, Garden Mint. You can buy little sachets. I think you can buy them in most supermarkets as well. They don't just do to mint, they do like Chinese, Piri Piri, Ghost, Ghost Pepper and stuff like that. They're really, really good. And they're made by the same company. And so if you've got the uh, Flavor, It, uh, Flavor It Garden Mint, it'd be the exact same mint as I've got there. And I think they're about £1.50, so uh, it doesn't break the bank. And one of them sachets would have done all them wings I did, so uh, why not try it? Minty series episode four. Minted fried wings. And I loved it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. I become a family member of my tag team CTB, where I fucking love you. Or should I say, clucking love you. Let's not do that ever again. <laughs>